Judy, nearly two weeks after they were taken at gunpoint by Hamas commandos, Judith and Natalie Renan are free. The Evanston mother and daughter have suffered a terrible ordeal, according to President Biden this afternoon, having been swept up in a surprise attack by Gaza terrorists October 7th. They had been visiting relatives in Israel and now are being reunited with family, who were public and persistent since the abductions. In Evanston, prayers for the release of mother and daughter these past two weeks this afternoon have been answered in Israel. Even as the fighting here continues, Hamas freed Judith Renan and her 17-year-old daughter Natalie. Diplomatic discussions between Qatar, the United States, Israel and Hamas apparently led to the breakthrough and the release. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, seen here inspecting military units today, says the Evanston mother and daughter were being reunited with family members escorted by a team from the Red Cross. The release of the hostages in Gaza today is a sliver of hope. We are extremely relieved that the families can now be reunited after two weeks of agony. We were surprised because nobody expected the release of hostages at this time uh, when there is no talk of any negotiation. And uh, it was it was absolutely a surprise, uh, of course, a good one, uh, but uh, really just a, a tip of the iceberg. Over the coming hours, they'll receive any uh, support and assistance they need. And of course, we're very anxious to be able to reunite them with their loved ones. There are nearly 200 additional hostages being held by Hamas, including about a dozen Americans. They are among the focus of Israeli defense officials who spoke today with the ABC 7i team. You know, I think that there's a place and, and a need for the world to call in one voice on Hamas to release them immediately. That is the fastest, easiest way for them to come home, and it could happen today. Uh, and that would be for Hamas to release them without any terms or conditions. Uh, and of course, we are thinking about them and, and getting them back is a top focus. Israeli media has just posted the first photo of the Ranan since their release from Hamas captivity. The picture cited is a handout from the Israeli army. It shows mother and daughter with hostage envoy Gal Hirsch between them. The Ranan's terrible ordeal may be ending, but for many others it continues. For those additional hostages, including many children, for two million Palestinians in Gaza who are seeing a cutoff of food, water, electricity and fuel. Israeli officials now say they will not restore those essentials until all hostages are released by Hamas.